Happy Saturday snack down everyone. This is Erin Riley Carrasco. Welcome to my vegan kitchen. And today I'm making one of my family's favorite recipes, which is the Southwest Cabbage Cups. Oh my gosh, so much to get through today, so I'm gonna get started. We start off with healthy and delicious quinoa that I cooked before. And some people cook their quinoa with water. I like to add a little bit of vegetable broth to give it a little taste. So that's going to be the kind of the binding ingredient of this mix, this delicious mix that's going to go in our cabbage cups. We are going to start off with a can of organic pinto beans. And like I try to stress on every one of my shows, if you can buy all organic, it's the best, it's the healthiest. You're not going to drain the beans, okay? So you're going to just undo the top and put your one can of undrained pinto beans in here. And I want to thank my friend Winnie, who goes by the Bottomless Vegan. She's got an awesome blog. This is her recipe, and I think my daughter is number one. My daughter's watching somewhere. Her number one favorite food in the entire world. Okay, secondly, organic black beans from Trader Joe's. Not strained. Just going to put that right in here. And I am going to use a potato masher because I am going to mash these beans to get the flavor out a little bit. You can look at that, stir it a little bit. And you want to mash about 85, 90% of the beans. Some can be whole. Take some arm strength. Who needs yoga when you can be around mashing beans? <laughs> This recipe, first of all, beans are such an excellent source of protein. I actually am on the board of an organization called Lean and Green Kids, where we go into grade school and we educate and bring awareness to children about beans. The founder, Barbara Cole, during, the, during this educational seminar calls herself Queen Bean, and I am Lady Legume. Beans worldwide great sense great source of plant protein all right we're mashing we're getting those flavors and next i am going to add my spices which again all of this just comes together to make the most delicious cabbage cups so we're going to do one teaspoon of chili powder i'm going to pour that in there we're going to do one teaspoon of cumin. This is an interesting spice. I like the little long grains of it. We're going to do a half tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And for those of you who have not used nutritional yeast, oh my goodness, I go through about, I don't know, one of these every two weeks. Wonderful for making cheesy sauces, wonderful for putting on top of your pasta in place of Parmesan cheese, because we are cruelty free, no dairy, no meat. That was a half of a tablespoon, and I will be putting all of the amounts that will be up on Jane Velez, Jane Unchained's website, and I'll also be posting this recipe in the comments after I'm done. Uh, also, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, we're gonna mix that all together with the quinoa that I pre-cooked in the vegetable broth. Water is fine, but I just love the little flavor of the vegetable broth. You can see this nice consistency coming together. It smells so good. Sophia is gonna be one happy camper when she gets home and she sees these in the fridge. All right, next we are gonna add our one can of organic whole kernel corn. You do want to strain the can of corn. You can make these cups as appetizers, go into a party, but the, the way we make them is if we can show these big beautiful cups, they're literally a meal in a cup. They're perfect for lunch. Um, but if you're gonna be taking them to a party, appetizer size, I would do half cups.
but they're just such a flavorful and colorful dish along with being extremely healthy. Cabbage cups are a great alternative to bread if you wanna cut down on your carbs, low in calorie. Calories really high in fiber, and actually cabbage is really, really high in its nutritional quality. So look at this beautiful mixture we have going here. All right, it smells so good. In fact, earlier I had pre-cut just some of my vegetables, the corn, the poblano peppers, and Alan thought that I had left a flame on earlier, but I said, no, that is just the flavor, that is the scent of all those delicious organic vegetables coming up, wafting upstairs. Okay, there is our main mixture. Next, and you can get uh, quinoa in bulk at Sprouts. I picked this up at Trader Joe's. And the portion, uh, it calls for one cup of quinoa with two cups of water. And the directions on the package are really easy, or you can get in bulk. Might be a little less expensive that way. And next, we, um, I cut up one, just a medium yellow onion. I'm going to start simmering that, but before I do that, I want to show you what a poblano pepper looks like. Many stores don't carry poblano peppers, and I wanted to show you really quickly the right way to cut a poblano pepper. You're just gonna take the side off, the end off, I'm sorry. You're just gonna reach in there with your fingers, and you're gonna pull out your seeds. One of the favorite things about my kitchen is I have this trash can right here. So I'm just gonna reach in there with my hand, shake out the seeds, and look at that. It's completely clean gonna slice it in half, take off the tip, and then when you're cutting, you want to kind of make it flat like this, and you're gonna cut in just long strips, just like that, and then you're gonna dice from there. So I know sometimes people get uh, a little intimidated with <laughs> different kinds of peppers that they might not work a lot with, but how easy is that? Yeah, poblano pepper. Mmm, smells so good. These are cut similarly. Um, let me show you really quickly. Um, I learned something recently. Did you know that red, pep bell, red bell peppers are the same as green bell peppers, but they just stay on the vine longer and they have more beta carotene? I did not know that. I thought that they were two completely different things. So you're gonna cut off the top. You can actually keep this if you just wanna pop the top off. And cut around this. Get most of the white off and you can reuse that. You do the same thing. You just wanna come in here, clean it out. It's really easy with your hand although this is a little bit deeper and there's a little more, not cartilage, but it's harder on the inside. So I just make a slice and I open it up. And you can take a paring knife if you wanna do this. I use my trusty Cutco and you're just gonna go in and you're going to, you get the seeds out, you're gonna lay it flat and you're just gonna cut the white part off. Just like that. And you're gonna do the same cutting as you did with the poblamo, the way I do it. I'm sure everyone has different ways, but just in long strips like this. And then you dice from there. So I pre-cut because in the essence of saving time, I pre-cut my red bell pepper, I pre-cut my poblano pepper, and if the cameraman can come over here, we're gonna get going on sauteing our onions. What's great about this dish is it doesn't have a lot of oils. It's not a high fat dish, the only oil it has, and just use maybe a teaspoon of olive oil to saute your onions, that's it. So very, very low in oil. If you didn't want to use the oil, you could use vegetable stock, which is always a great alternative. We're gonna saute. In fact, I think I might add a little, little tiny bit of vegetable stock. 
because I want to keep this low oil and I actually have many friends whose diets don't allow them to have any oil. So really easy, just pour in some vegetable stock and we are going to simmer these onions until they become translucent. And if I can stand over here without crying while I talk to you, they smell wonderful. This dish, because I make the cups so big and it is like a meal in itself, I store them in my refrigerator in these. Usually do two at a time. It's kind of like meal prep. One, two, put in the fridge and that way my daughter can eat. They last for about three days, three to four days. Easy and simple, which is what Saturday Snack Down is all about. Quick and easy vegan recipes. Do we have any questions so far? Pat says hi. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about the dish so far? Some of it I can't read because it's kind of gone away already. Okay, that's all right. We have viewers out there. That's all that counts. And I wonder how many viewers have enrolled in V, v January, V January, V January. I'm like talking to everyone about that. <clears throat> if you're trying to make a transition to a plant-based diet, January is the month to do it. There's so many great sites out there you can register. And they give you recipes. They're there for support. They give you tips. Um, very, very popular as... Things are happening with our planet. They are a direct result of global warming because of the animal agriculture. More and more people are moving towards a whole food plant-based diet. And again, if we just substitute the olive oil for vegetable broth, this entire recipe is whole food, plant-based. Okay, so health conscious people, no oil, no sugar. This is a great, great recipe. It's very filling. It's really high in protein as well as all of the incredible nutrients that are in all those vegetables. Somebody asked if the uh, poblano uh, was spicy. It's not that spicy. And um, you know, also I wanted to share with you, I like to dice very small. Some people dice bigger, actually my red bell peppers, but no, it's not very spicy, but it adds a little kick. It's actually, it's similar to a green bell pepper with just a slightly different taste. Might be one of the things that makes us Somebody else wants to know so if you delicious. can make stuffed bell peppers with the filling. Yes, absolutely. That's a great idea. I might have to try that next week. Okay, our onions are nice and translucent. We are going to add peppers, our red bell pepper, our poblano. And I'm going to crank up the heat to high now, everyone. And if I'm making this at home, I would saute this for about seven to 10 minutes. I'm not gonna do that today, which is okay because it's gonna make my cups extra crunchy. Oh, can you smell those? Well, I'm talking to my husband as he's filming this, but these flavors all together, just marvelous, delicious and healthy. You know, I always say that we have the three most important choices, I believe, this is all coming from Aaron is the food we put in our mouth, our meals three times a day. We vote with our dollars. We can choose to contribute to a healthy lifestyle. If you are buying dairy and meat, you're actually paying and contributing to an industry that harms animals. And I don't wanna do that. And I would hope that no one would wanna do that. I really feel like our, our world is moving towards that a cruelty-free lifestyle that's so easy. And I also like to remind friends who ask me, gosh, you know, what do you eat? You're vegan, are you eating just like, I can't just eat cucumbers and lettuce and broccoli. And I tell them, and I am so honest when saying this, I've never eaten better than the last four years since I've gone vegan. 
even when I was vegetarian for 26 years. I, I cannot tell you the health benefits of a vegan diet. I'm not gonna say my <laughs> diet is whole food plant-based all the time because let me tell you, I enjoy, I greatly enjoy Miyoko's butter. <laughs> I like foods with oil in it. So it's just all about moderation and mixing things up. This is actually nice. I think it's soft enough. We're going to add our quinoa mix with, again, if you're just joining us, we have quinoa that I baked prior, not baked, that I made prior. We've got corn in here. We've got black beans. We've got pinto beans. And we've got the spices of nutritional yeast, cumin, chili powder, and garlic powder. We are going to add this all together and look at what a nice, generous portion this makes. Again, that's just starting off with one cup of quinoa. It smells so good. All right, we're going to mix it all together. Again, you want to have your heat on high here. Yum, yum. Isn't there beautiful colors in there? Beautiful, like it's from my Southwest. Southwest cabbage cups. Healthy, delicious, cruelty free. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper at the back end to taste. And give it a couple good stirs, and we are finished with our filling for these cabbage cups. Lots of color. Lots of color. Lots of flavor. And our our commenter, our viewer that said stuffed bell peppers. It's a great idea. All right, I think we are done with our mixture. It smells so good and it looks so beautiful. All right, let's get our cabbage cups right here. Move over my dishes and I am gonna start filling these babies. Whew, this is heavy. That is a lot of mixture, lots of filling. So gosh, you could make 10 cabbage cups with these at least. Usually I'd let this cool off a little bit. So here we go. We're gonna take our mixture and put it right in there. One. Two. Oh, so good, so healthy. I don't know why people think that healthy food isn't delicious because it is so delicious especially the cruelty free part now you can make your own sauce there's lots of recipes for vegan sauces i like to top mine with my just mayo chipotle it is so good it cuts down on that last step of mixing another four or five ingredients and i just squeeze it on here like this it's a wonderful chipotle taste and is perfect for these Southwest cabbage cups. And it makes for a pretty design. I'm gonna add some avocados. You can also add diced um, pico de gallo or diced tomatoes on top of this if you like. I'm gonna add a little bit more of salt and pepper, and then I am going to top it off with a little bit, what I love. A great thing to top this off, you can put hemp seeds on top of here. Great, it's already got a lot of protein, but if you wanted to add some, I top off with a little lemon wedge on the side, but just squeeze that lemon right on the top. It gives it a little bit of a kick. And how does that look, my husband? <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, he's tasted these. Can you tell the audience 
what you think of these cups. Oh, they're amazing. You know, you're always very excited when they're in the refrigerator. Yeah. So here we go, everyone. Is that not gorgeous? Again, a meal unto itself. You can pack it as full as you want it. Do you want to do some taste testing or should I? Go for it. Go for it. Okay. This is the challenging part. Is doing this in a, let's see, so I don't get food all over the place. Mm. I like to fold it over and eat it like a taco. I think it's the easiest. It's not as messy. Mmm. I would add a little bit more salt to mine because I love salt. Add salt and pepper to taste. Roll over like a taco. Again, these are just so delicious, everyone. Would love to hear your feedback. I'm going to post the uh, ingredients in the comment section. It will also be posted on Jane Unchained website. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. That one bite was so big, excuse me, I am still chewing. We will see you next Saturday for Saturday Snack Down. Again, I'd love your feedback. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.